Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? Yeah. What up, everybody? I hope everybody is doing extremely well today. I hope money is flowing to your possession in a rapid and abundant way, you know? Because if you ain't making that money, man, forget everything else. You gotta feed your family. And that's what I'm here for. I am Tiger Toledo, your humble hip hop sales coach, coming back at you with some new and refreshing tips. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to maximize your efforts on YouTube and other areas like YouTube, podcasting, blogging, things like that. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to illustrate to you guys how to do this at hyper speed for the 21st century. So let's get into it, man. The first thing I definitely recommend, this is something that I do. It has saved me a lot of time. Number one would be to batch your work batch your work batching your work would be okay like this video right here right um which which probably most likely going to be an audio slash video with some pictures and stuff what i do is i record maybe five six seven audio recordings or videos at one time at one sitting you understand and what i do i break those recordings up into different different videos same thing with my blogs i don't write the blogs you know every single day i batch my blogs so what i do is i'll write maybe five six seven eight blogs in one day that way I can spread out my blogs, you know, throughout the, the week, throughout the month. There, there's times like, you know, if I really get, get busy one week straight, I may have my blogs set up for the next two months. You know what I mean? Or, or for a couple of days of work. I have two months worth of work of blogs by batching it. Same thing with audio recording. If you have a podcast, you know, you might want to do a bunch of recordings all at once and then break it, break them up, break them up and, and, and distribute them individually. You know, you may have like seven different topics, six different topics you want to talk about. Go ahead and record all of them. If, if you can record all of them in one sitting, edit them later you know, and, and, and chop them up into different podcasts, audio recordings. So that's number one. I'd strongly recommend batch work, batching your work. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of headaches. The second one, if you ever need description, like like for YouTube, right? There, there's, there's a formula to YouTube. It, it ain't just, hey, just put up a video and then bada bing, bada boom. That's, that's not how YouTube works. There's a science to the whole YouTube and maybe uh, later down the line, I'll make more of an intricate video to demonstrate how the YouTube dynamic work. But for the most part, you need a good title for your YouTube videos, a good description, right? You need some good tags, and then you also need a good thumbnail. Right now, we're gonna talk about the description because I believe that the description part is the longest. But one of the things I like to do for description, whenever I need a description, I can do two things, and I'll discuss one of them right now, is to hold my phone up to the speaker of my desktop and what I'll do, I have a um, Evernote. I don't know if you guys know what Evernote is. It's, it's like a swipe file. You're, you're able to keep your files on there. I'll have Evernote on there. And what I'll do, I'll hold my phone up 
and I'll do like a, a text. Now you know how your phone pops up and it says, hey, do you want, it's like a little microphone, you hit the little microphone part and you can speak and it will translate the, your speech into text. I do that with my video sometimes. I'll hold my phone up to the monitor speakers and let the video play and it'll automatically record my voice and translate that into text. It's very effective. It, it, it's very quick and it enables you to cut a lot of time. Now you may have to go in and edit it because sometimes, you know, they'll switch up the words on you, but it is very, very fast and very quick because let's be honest, we can speak a lot quicker than we can write and type. So that's one of the things that you might want to look into holding your phone up to a speaker and having your phone translate the speech into text in Evernote or maybe an email or something. The third one would be turning your speech to text for a quick description. Now, say you don't have Evernote or you don't wanna to have to go through the whole Evernote process. You can do this with your Gmail, your Yahoo, uh, whatever, email account that you have you can just go on there like on your phone and let's say you have a video about dogs pit bulls right go into the email like as if you're going to send the email and where it's asking you to enter your content or enter the subject just hit that microphone part on your phone and you can start speaking into it and then you can start talking about pit bulls. I love pit bulls because they're beautiful and they're aggressive and blah, 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 blah. And all of that will translate into the email, then email it to yourself and then you edit it later. So that is a very, very quick and effective way to record a quick description for either your podcast, your blogs or anything like that if you're on the go. Because for me, I'm on the go constantly. So I have to try to put together things that's feasible with my lifestyle. I, I, I try to live the dot-com lifestyle. So I'm, I'm on the go all the time and I wanna record um, quickly and effectively and I can edit later with minimal editing, okay? The fourth one would be automated emails. If you can automate, actually automation period. If you can automate anything, automate it. I'm telling you, it saves you a lot of time. See, the, the whole point is, is that you wanna work more effectively and efficiently. So if you can do that and automate your work, like for me, I use, I used to use MailChimp, right? I don't use MailChimp anymore because I, again, I'm on the go all the time. I wanted something that can reach out to people that choose to subscribe on gullyware.com and it can shoot them emails just to touch bases with them. It'll send a survey over to them. It'll send them, you know, maybe a, a new video or something that I have released and it keeps them plugged in. It keeps them uh, active. It keeps that subscriber in the loop. It keeps them in the ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? So I use Aweber and the way Aweber works is if someone signs up for, you know, let's just say my e-newsletter e or whatever, they sign up for the e-newsletter a Weber, I have structured follow up, a follow up series of emails. So once they get that, boom, they get a thank you uh, email, you know, saying, hey, thanks a lot for joining the Gullyware VIP entourage, you the man, blah, blah, blah. And it gives them a brief history of me. About three days later, another email shoots out to them, tells them about something else. Another three days, another email shoots to, to them, ask them to take a survey or something like that. All of that has been pre-programmed. So I'm no longer doing that. 
So it keeps everybody abreast on what I'm doing, but I'm no longer shooting out those emails one by one and all. No, I, I ain't got time for that shit. Fuck that, you know? So if you can automate it, definitely automate it. I'll leave a description of AWeber down below. If you guys want to check out AWeber, I think they have like a 30 day uh, free trial. I mean, pfft. hey, I'm all about automation. Another thing that I use for automation is Buffer. Uh, some people use Hootsuite. I tried Hootsuite. It just was a little bit too complicated for me. I didn't, I didn't want to deal with all that stuff. So I use Buffer.com. I think I pay $10 a month. $10 a month, it allows me to schedule posts onto social media, right? So now I'm not on every single social media platform firing off different posts. I mean, you know, if you don't have an automated social media, uh, automated post kind of thing going on, you understand how time consuming it can be because with Twitter, you have a different type of following. With Instagram, you have a different type of following. For Facebook, there's another different party. Pinterest, all these different platforms are different people that respond to different content that you put out. So like for Twitter, because the feed on Twitter is so quick, I'll shoot out maybe three, four, five tweets on Twitter just to keep, because I know the feed is so quick and sometimes people may never see it. So I constantly have my own feed going on. So I schedule certain posts to hit Twitter four, four or five times a day. You know what I'm saying? Um, that helped out tremendously because not only did it help me uh, reach new people, but it also um, got me more subscribers. It also got uh, me more awareness and it kept me abreast of a lot of things that's been going on. And then, you know, you can check them out. They have like a RSS feed, which is um, amazing too. And that makes it look like you on point. Like you, it makes it look like you have a, a staff of 50 just shooting things out at all different time on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all this other, all these other uh, platforms. It just looks like you have a monster team just shooting things out. Okay, so automate, 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 automate. Very, very key to being and moving at a hyper speed for the 21st century. And last, number five, record one long ass audio and break it into three, four, five parts of a series, right? For instance, um, I'll use one of my videos for instance. I recorded uh, the power of obligation, right? How to use the power of obligation. Now that was one long ass video. I mean, one long audio that I recorded on my Zoom H1 which I'll leave that description at the bottom for you if you want to cop some awesome audio hardware for cheap, right? But anyway, um, I recorded the whole how to use the power of obligation in one sitting, all right? So instead of me rolling out just one long ass video on YouTube, I decided to break it up in two parts. That way it gave me extra content and it keeps your subscriber engaged in case it's like, you know, oh man, I can't wait for part two to come out because part one was kind of fly. So you keep them engaged and you keep them wanting more. So instead of you just rolling out and just putting out just one long ass video, break it up in a couple of series, break it up in like part one, part two, part three, part four. And that will keep the content flowing. So you'll always have something coming out. You always want to look like you're active, even though you probably recorded that thing, you know, two months ago. Now, what I try to do is when I record something, I try to keep it timeless. So that means there's certain things I, I 
I, I'll keep out. Something like, um, you know, current events or, you know, time stamps, things like that I'll probably keep out of my videos just because I want to keep it timeless so people can listen to it three, four, five years down the line. And I learned that trick from Tariq Nasheed of Hidden Colors. So, you know, just wanted to drop some tips with you guys. These are five hyperspeed productivity tips to keep you on point for the 21st century. As always, peace, love, and prosperity to you and yours. Holla at your boy. I left a couple of free gifts at the bottom. Check them out, you know what I mean? Subscribe to this channel, because the more subscriptions, the better. Like, share, and comment, and drop me a line. You know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and tell me what other videos you would like me to make for you. Once again, this is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, signing out. One.